Hey, what's up, church? So good to just spend a few minutes just encouraging everyone from the Word. And today, being National Day of Prayer, I thought it was fitting to share on prayer. So I'm going to be sharing from 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 17 and 18. And the Apostle Paul says this, Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. And as we're talking about prayer, you know, the Apostle Paul says in the inspired word that this is the will of God. And whenever we hear in the Bible God's will, our ears need to be especially attentive. To pray without ceasing, and then as we pray, in our prayers, we're not to, to be just asking God endlessly for the things we covet and envy um, or, or want and need, but we're to be thankful for what God has given us and has done for us. Prayer without ceasing is such an amazing thing that we have as believers in Christ because Christ gave his life on the cross so that we can have access and communion with God. And that is the redemptive relationship is God restored relationship, that broken relationship between man and God through the restoration through Christ on the cross. Man, this is awesome. We have access. We can go to God without ceasing. Uh, we, don't, we don't have to go through a mediator, but we can go directly through our mediator in Christ, and we can pray as much as we want. That is such an amazing thing that we have this privilege to go in the presence of God into the Holy of Holies through Christ and his work on the cross praying without ceasing. This is God's will, and it's an amazing thing that we have a privilege to do and be a part of. Uh, you know, God doesn't think that it's it's just something that we should just, you know, be monks and, and pray without ceasing in a way that, that all we do every day, day in and day out, is pray. But praying without ceasing, ceasing is recognizing this privilege and this this relationship in communion that we have with him. And it's something that Brother Lawrence in his book, Practicing the Presence of God, refers to as practicing the presence of God. It's a beautiful thing that we have. And I pray that you in this time are growing as prayer warriors in time of prayer. God bless you guys. I pray that Tonight, as we pray together in uh, the National Day of Prayer prayer meeting, that you guys would be a part of it. I'm praying for everyone and pray that, that we would be back together soon. God bless you.